All right, how we doing? Hope everyone had a great holiday season, gearing up for those New Year's resolutions. If this is your first time to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you enjoy it. Stick around, like, subscribe, do all the things that you wanna do if you like this video. You don't have to, it's okay. Today we're talking about goals, New Year's resolutions. I wanted to come on last video of the year and just really create something that was for you guys. For, for me too, something that I think can help a lot of people with this year coming up. Be sure to stick around till the end. It's a secret. You gotta, you gotta watch because it's gonna be fun, all right? Just trust me, trust me. If there's one time you wanna trust me, just this time, all right? 2021, here we come. Goals. This is my little spiel right at the beginning. We're talking about goals. We're talking about New Year's resolutions. Nice. Nice, yeah. <laughs> is that part of your resolution, your new thing for today? How often do we stick with New Year's resolutions? Be honest. Be honest. And if you're one of those people who are like, 100% of the time, every time. Good for you. Not me. I'm probably the worst with New Year's resolutions. We're gonna get into more detail about this little, about what I think will actually work. It's gonna work for you. I'm gonna sit down with JT, my good buddy, and we're gonna talk about it because we found this strategy that we think will extremely help. Yeah, 2021, I said I was gonna cut back on the coffee. You think I can cut back on coffee? The third one of the day already. It's not even, it's one o'clock, right? It's one o'clock. 1.30, excuse me. When I think of goals, when I think of New Year's resolutions, anything I wanna achieve, I think of two things, persistence and grit. Grit is passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. What are those two? They kind of go hand in hand. Someone who has grit, and I've heard this in a few different spots, someone who has grit is someone who just... Grit is having stamina. Grit is sticking with your future. Day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years. And working really hard to make that future a reality. They have this desire. They have something they wanna go after and they, they do it. And you have to break it out into something that is, is smart. So what is a SMART goal? S-M-A-R-T. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timeless. It's gonna be the year. I can feel it. It's gonna be the year for you. Let's do it. All right, let's get JT in here. We're gonna talk more. Are we on? Ugh. Is it on? It's like, my JT. What's up guys? Came across this article that talks about resolutions 2.0. And immediately, the first thing that jumps out is the author articulates the fact that she was able to stick to her New Year's resolutions for the first time in her life. So the first one is creating 12 monthly resolutions as opposed to one just huge lofty goal. We're just gonna break it down and make one per month. And what's important to note about this also is you're not sitting down on December 31st and writing down 12 resolutions for 2021. What you're doing is sitting down and writing down a goal or a resolution just for the month of January. Now, some people do have one bigger, loftier goal that they wanna achieve, and if that's you, I would say no problem, go for it, but maybe look at that and then try to reverse engineer it and look at what step can I take each month to get me to that end goal. The second thing, we're gonna make this social. So I brought JT in and we wanted to do this as a group and bring some of you guys along if, if it's of interest to you. Uh, but just making it a social aspect where we're holding each other accountable and being able to bounce ideas off each other. Anytime I make my goals public, I'm way more susceptible to achieve those goals. The accountability is huge, very big part of it. And then that shared knowledge, like Drew was saying, bounce ideas off of each other. I think what you're gonna run into is a lot of people that have experienced trying to achieve some sort of goal and they found some different tricks or tips Right, some little hacks that help them have more success with that. You know, at the end of the day, what are we talking about? We're talking about behavior change. We're trying to figure out 
how to create behavior change in a positive way. And there's all sorts of different tactics, tips, tricks that different people use. And by way of having that shared knowledge within the group, I think we'll have a higher likelihood of success because of the ability to talk to each other and get some of those tips and things of that nature. Absolutely. And the third part, we're gonna track our progress. So with this one, Drew and I have sort of talked about this and we're thinking in the article she talks about they track their progress through Google Docs. So they had a Google Doc and they would just go in and at the beginning of each month, you had to send an email to the group and articulate exactly what your goal was gonna be for that month. At the beginning of each month, we're gonna have a Zoom call. We want everyone to be committed to this Zoom call. Put it on your calendar, schedule it out, and we're gonna hold each other accountable. We're gonna get on that Zoom call. We're gonna say exactly what we did, what our goal was. One of us will be writing down in the Google Doc, so we have something to look back on at the end of the year. Yeah, we think there'll be probably a higher level of compliance if we have, like Drew said, a set date and time that you have to show up to, and then we'll do the recording, make it easy on you guys, but just show up, share where you're at with everything, and then update us on what the next month goal will be, and then uh, we'll track it, like Drew said, so we'll all be on the same page. Setting those goals and having accountability really helps with creating ideas for content on this channel, creating ideas for how to grow a certain brand or a certain business, and if that's you, we wanna have you on this team. We're gonna throw it out to the community here. You're invited, we want you. The most important thing, guys, is if you're interested in it, be committed. Make the decision to be committed, make the decision up front that you're gonna show up for the group and you're gonna be consistent throughout this year. It, it makes it easier to be consistent by way of having 12 different monthly goals and by way of being able to decide on those throughout the year. You can be malleable, you can change what your focus is throughout the year. Uh, it makes it easier to do that, but just make sure that if you're interested in it, that you're gonna show up, you're gonna be committed because that's what makes the group go, everybody being into it. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this video. We're excited for this little idea to grow as individuals. We're excited to bring some of you guys on. If you are interested, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna email myself, drew at drewtooley.com. I'll link it down below. Send me an email letting me know why you wanna join this group, uh, a little bit about yourself, a little bit about what you're trying to achieve with this. And we will reply after we read all the emails um, to those who are going to join or we want to bring on board. Uh, and just keep it fun. Like we wanna, we wanna get to know each other. We want to create this small group of of individuals to grow and we're excited. Rising tide raises all ships. Let's do it.